When we were young, we used to run around naked. We would have chocolate smeared on our face and we would say whatever was on our mind. We weren't really worried about what other people would say or what they would perceive us as. We just did. We just were and we weren't afraid to just be ourselves. But then we kind of grew up. Vulnerability comes from the Latin word vulnus, which means wound. So vulnerability is putting yourself in a situation or just being susceptible to being wounded, whether that's physically or emotionally. Yet being vulnerable and opening ourselves up is extremely hard for us. Why? Because we fear being rejected. We fear being seen for who we really are, so we would rather hide our truth. But the irony is, the thing that we worry about most being seen as is actually the thing that will set us free. When we learn to embrace the things that we're insecure, the things that are imperfections, the, the struggles in our story, when we can talk about those things and share them with others, it is actually the bridge for connection. Vulnerability opens up the space for deeper human connection beneath the surface level. In a world where there's so much uh, filtered and artificial posts, what people appreciate is just being real and being your authentic self. People have a hard time relating to all these fancy, perfect moments all the time because they're thinking to themselves, oh my goodness, everyone else has everything figured out and everything is perfect. So when you can share your own struggles, the things that aren't perfect in your life, people go, oh my goodness, this person's human, I can relate. The things that we worry about, about being rejected, about not being accepted, about maybe not being seen as a certain something or some way, are the things that will set us free. And the thing is, some people may reject you. Some people may not like you. But so what? There is no greater liberation, there is no greater freedom than being yourself and accepting yourself as who you are. The people who reject you and don't care are the people that do not matter in your life. But by being your authentic self and being vulnerable, you are going to attract the people that like you for who you are. So instead of having to worry about putting on a fake smile or a fake persona, just embracing the person you are will naturally attract the people that are best for you in your life. And there is no greater realization than being able to wake up and be okay with yourself for who you are and not having to fake anything. And people will appreciate that. Let vulnerability be the tool so you can connect deeper with people. Let vulnerability be the tool how you can find your authentic self. As Preston Smiles says, let your mess, your mess leads to your message. Your struggles and insecurities can very well lead you to find your purpose in life and through acknowledging that and freeing yourself, you will free others.